sisters. Welcome to day 10 of our Temple Body Tune In. Mm. And now that we have gone in and down and connected into our sacred embodiment through the sacred dreamer archetype, we now move into the energy of building this dynamic, fiery energy that naturally comes as women after we bleed and the moon begins to wax again. We come into the energy of the graceful warrior. This archetype shows up again and supports us in coming into the sword of discernment. It is imperative that we learn to speak our no and have boundaries in order to feel free and sexually sovereign. In Temple Body Arts, in our Temple Body Arts Guiding Compass, we move from sacred embodiment into sexual sovereignty. And this is in tune with this energy of recognizing that you get to choose from within. To be sovereign is to guide yourself from within, to make choices. And so this energy is also our maidenhood. And so perhaps we did not get to really voice our no and make choices that were aligned with seeing our body as sacred, whatever the story is that you may be carrying, you get to see this, face it, embrace it, integrate it, and recognize that you have the power to rewrite your story wherever you are in your life cycle. Even if you do not bleed anymore, you get to come into this space, this archetype of the graceful warrior to come into a place of sexual sovereignty, of recognizing that you carry the sword in which to cut away, in which to create boundaries. And so I invite you in this moment to bring your awareness into your pelvis, into your lotus flower, yoni portal, into rooting down deep in Mama Gaia and feeling your connection with your womb and the earth and making that intention to feel that connection and create that relationship. As you come into your breath, as you bring the energy up from the earth all the way up into your pelvis, into your womb, all the way up through your central channel, through your bamboo core, into your heart, and out through your arms. And begin to create this protection bubble around you with your arms, all the way around, 360 degrees. And you can breathe up from the earth and exhale. Like you're creating your own qigong, martial art that's protecting you, feeling this energy of protection of the graceful warrior, of your sexual sovereignty, your capacity and ability to say no in order to create what it is that you truly desire. This is the archetype, the lunar phase of our budding sexuality, of feeling into our pleasure. And so as you allow yourself to feel pleasure, to feel what is aligned with your highest desire and what is not, we get to move through life from a place of pleasure and protection. And so explore the relationship between feeling pleasure, just inviting that space of pleasure, 
and protection. You are sovereign to make your choices. And just again, noticing whatever arises, any memories, any feelings, take note of them, perhaps write them down as you're in this practice. Inviting clear, dynamic <sighs> movements, breath. This archetypal phase is also a really powerful time to work with positive affirmations because we naturally come into that space of confidence in ourselves, of believing in ourselves, of knowing that we can get it done, of taking action of moving forward with what is in alignment. Mm. So invite this mantra as you move. I am clear in my boundaries. I act with discernment. I act with discernment and pleasure. Try this on. I am clear with my boundaries. I act with discernment and pleasure. Exploring movements here that are strong, cutting through the space. Perhaps coming and standing, finding strong legs, coming back to that graceful warrior archetype. Ah. You are free to choose. I am clear in my boundaries. I act with discernment and pleasure. Try this on, feel the frequency of these words. Every word that you speak, that you tell yourself, every thought is sending out an electromagnetic broadcast. This frequency that goes out and attracts more of what you are saying, of what you are feeling. Passionate, fiery, and clear movement. Feel the fire moving up from the earth through your pelvis and your womb all the way up through your solar plexus, into your heart and out through your arms. <sighs> and the graceful warrior as a sexually sovereign, graceful warrior, you know how to speak your no. You know how to speak your no and create your strong boundaries in order to live your yes. So practice that. Where in your life are you needing to cut away? Are you needing to throw things out? Clear space if things are stuff that are in your space that are not serving you, that are not aligned with what it is that you truly desire to create. And the shadow aspect here of the graceful warrior is burnout. Where do you give too much? Where do you not protect yourself? Now is the time to fully reclaim your energy, pull all parts of yourself here. You get to choose. 
what you say yes to and what you say no to. Strong, clear movements, feeling this bubble of protection around you as you express your sexually sovereign maiden, your graceful warrior. Ha. What are you needing to cut away? What clarity did you receive in the sacred dream of time of going within and reflecting? Now with this clarity, cutting away, cutting away that which is not aligned. Every month we become anew. We be become a new woman, releasing the old and coming into the full embodiment of who you are. You are worthy of the life that you desire. Feel this. As you learn to move through life in ways that turn your soul on. Where is your aim as you take action? Feel your power, feel your grace as a graceful warrior. Ha! Clearing the path of all that is not aligned. What are you ready ha, to release, to cut away that no longer serves? Where have you said yes in your life when really you wanted to say no? Take that back. Reclaim. Reclaim your no. Ha. What does that look like? What does it feel like to reclaim your no and your yes? your body, all parts of yourself, you have the right to feel pleasure, and we not only bleed to create babies, but as women, we are here to create new paradigms, projects, communities, movements. So it's okay to feel pleasure and to move through life in a way that feels good in your body. Mm. Noticing what you notice. This fiery energy. How do you desire to move through life with your strong sword of discernment, with honoring what you receive, of trusting the wisdom of your body, the wisdom of your womb, and honoring yourself and the guidance from within? 
What does that feel like to dance through life, honoring your innate wisdom, your guidance, your sacred yes, and your sacred no? Strongly rooted in who you are. Feel your roots down into Mama Gaia. Moving in your own rhythm. the boundary of your skin. And the boundary around your body protecting you. Fill yourself up with this dance. Reclaim your power as a sexually sovereign, graceful warrior, carving your path, taking action towards what it is you truly desire. Breath of fire. Exhale through your nose. Belly button comes to the spine. Feel your inner fire. Feel your strength. Your sword. Reclaiming your sexuality, reclaiming your pleasure, reclaiming all parts of yourself that you left behind, reclaiming your innocence because your innocence can never be taken away. You are whole just as you are. with discernment and pleasure. Speak these words, feel the frequency of each word. Embody each word. I am clear in my boundaries. I act with discernment and pleasure. Licking your lips, feel your body, notice what you smell, what you hear. what you see coming into all your senses, your birthright to be fully alive 
and to move through life from a place of pleasure, power, and grace as the moon waxes, gets brighter, and we step out to take action with our highest desires and yes. Mm. Thank you, sister. Being gentle with yourself. Noticing what arises. And really taking note of what action can you take right now, today, to clear away anything that is not aligned. Maybe you need to have a conversation Maybe you need to throw stuff away from your house. It's taking up space and it's from an old part of your life. Maybe you can do something online that is taking action towards what it is you truly desire. Reflecting on what action you can take today as the graceful warrior, as a sexually sovereign being to move towards what it is you truly desire to birth into the world. Mm -hmm.